here we go. Just finished this one up. It's been a fun build. Taking it's one of the I think it's the biggest knife I've done, so it took the longest. And you can see it has Kydex sheath, black, rivet space to accommodate your tech lock assembly. Oh, lost one of the bars. There we go. So you can adjust it and mount it either way. So I just found out that's the most versatile way to actually mount this thing. So here we go. The proud moment. There we go. You can see I send I have a thin layer of oil on here. We'll clean that off just so we can see. Oh, without the oil. So there we go. Purple heart handle, stainless steel pins, stainless steel lanyard, 5160 blade. I don't know what they, it's like, I, I call it a quasi mirror finish. I sand up to 1000 grit and then hit it with a buffer so it isn't a mirror polish, but it gives a nice finish. Pretty, a little bit more rust resistant for these high carbon steels, but it isn't quite a mirror polish. It doesn't get it doesn't mess up quite as much as a mirror polish. So there we go. So this one ended up being the blade itself is 12. Okay, so just under eight inches with my refinished tip. I had started off at eight and a quarter, but I had to redo the tip due to uh, make it a little bit too narrow. So it's just a little bit seven three quarters. Over seven and three quarters, so a little bit. So overall length is right at twelve inches. It looks like so twelve inch blade, seven and three quarters cutting edge, just under a quarter of an inch thickness. And this one has this fun little Maori fin, shark fin, harpoon tip, whatever you want to call it. And the customer wanted it fully sharpened, so we have a sharp edge on top as well. I'm extremely good for stabbing. Even though it doesn't have a super po sharp point, with the two sharpened edges, it would stab very nicely. So here we go. Just because we can, right? We got the paper. There we go. Now, I have a pretty steep secondary bevel on here. I was going for about a 30, between 30 and 35 degree Secondary bevel. It's a big knife. It's going to be used for chopping his way through uh, clearing four wheeler trails, I believe, is what I was told. And I'm just kidding. He's going to need to chop a lot, and I, I gave it a nice chopping edge. But as you can see, even though it's pretty steep, it still slices very, very nicely, even against the grain. Ooh, careful, buddy. It slices just fine. There we go. So there's your, uh, uh, what's the word? Your necessary paper cut, shaves. Yeah, not razor sharp, but it's popping hair off. Where, where's the lens? There you go. See? You got your hair there. Nice and sharp. And I really like, one of my personal favorites is just a, I mean, it's just a paper towel too, but it still shows pretty good how sharp it is. Oh, that's fun. Did a little whoop de doo on that one. Okay, so there we go. Again, Kydex sheath, black. Locks in nicely. Really good snap. Really good retention. And then it pops out. We got your little thumb rest here. Pops out. There we go. TBK knives. It's not focusing. Come on, that was going to be my, my fade out right there. Was this lovely? There we go, right on my logo. There we go. 